Hey everyone, this is Stephanie again. I need to do a screen capture for Even this. Whoopsie. Because, <laughs> sorry, that was my other video. I'm multitasking. Um, anyway, I have to do a screen capture for this video because my it is so hot outside, it's like 97 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 Celsius, that my recording camera, uh, well, recording cell phone has um, overheated and will not do any more <laughs> videos today. But I really wanted to share with you um, what I'm doing for pronunciation. Okay, it is being recorded. We are good. So if you look at the bottom of the screen here, I've got like a zillion different Chinese language apps. But if you look at the bottom, let's see. Uh, if you see WeChat, which is the green one in the middle bottom, and go up and then over to the left, you'll see Pinion Trainer. It's got multiple colors with purple in the middle with how. And that's what I want to show you first. Cool. What? And we're going to dive right in. <laughs> now, I have gone off of the free version. You get to do a certain amount of training with the free version. And I have moved on to the $2.99 um, paid version, which gives you unlimited practice. Can I say that again? And I don't think there's a time frame for this. I think you just use this until you don't. Um, I don't think this is per month, per year, whatever. You just buy it and it's yours, which I know is not shocking for an app. That's how apps work. However, considering I think I did this for like half an hour last night and I still, it, I could still do more. Like I could, I could never max out on the, uh, the pronunciation practice for this. So I consider that $2.99 really really worth it and i want to show you two things that i've done with it so far and i'm sure there's more functions that i'll find out but right now i've only done a few things one is what you're looking at right now which is they're just giving you one word in pinion and they're showing you the different tones the first one is in um oops i accidentally picked it i wanted to see if it would just tell you the uh or say the sound of that so um yeah, the first one, second one here, third one, those are all um, the third tone, which is the falling, rising. And here's the audio at the top. You can press it as many times as you want. <laughs> and it will, it will repeat the sound as many times as you need. So let me see if I can guess this one. <sighs> oh, I'm get, I think it's that one. Yes! Cool. And if it's green, it's correct. And if it's, I think, red, then it's incorrect. Let's do this one. Cool. Cool. See, and I'm having a really hard time with the flat tone. And I, I think this one. Cool. Is, oh, okay. I know why it sounds like that. Clearly, it must be the fourth tone, which is the last one here. And it is. Cool. Interesting. Cool. So there are two main kinds that they do. One's where they put one word like this, and then we'll, we'll get into it very soon, where they do two words together, one on the left and one on the right, and that gets really challenging. So let me do a few of these so we can get on to that, um, so I can show you that one. And that's what I try to do also, is I'll try to mimic the sound that I'm hearing. Even when I figure out, or think I figure out which tone it is, I'll still try to practice to get the, the pronunciation practice that I desperately need, as you can hear from my tones. I have a really hard time with these two first sounds. Yes! Here we go. So the initial sound is on the left, and the final sound is on the right. They're being generous by only giving you two final sounds in this one, but a lot of times they'll give you four on the left, four on the right, and it takes me about eight tries to try to get it. And a lot of times I'll get it wrong. So let's see if I can do this one. Qi chu. Okay, qi is easy. Qi. Qi chu. Qi chu. Qi chu. Qi chu. Yes! Okay, that is a rare moment when I've gotten that right. That sounds like fourth tone. Oh, see what I mean? This is this is the ultimate so far, is four on the left, four on the right, and they're really difficult sounds. See, that sounds like two falling tones to me. It sounds like that one, 
And I don't want to hit it yet because I want to hear it again. Oh, there is no falling tone in the in the final column. Ah, oh, let me listen again. Xiao Yang. Wow, was I wrong. Hong. And you can review it down here at the bottom where it says review. But I like to do like you know, 15 or 20 of them before I do that. But on that last one, I'm very curious. I'd like to see that longer. That is my one critique of this app, is I wish you had the ability to say when you wanted the screen to change. Um, and you might actually have that down in settings. I've just started using this about three or four days ago. So there's some things I don't know that it's doing. But, um... Home. Home. And I find it very difficult that what looks like an E is an uh, 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 Hung. is an uh sound. Um, and I, that's one of the L1 interferences pronunciation wise that really gets me the most. The C into a TS kind of sound is much easier for me than the E into an uh sound. Oh man, it kicks my butt. Hung. 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 Now that's a higher pitch and it is rising, so I'm guessing... Ah! See? No matter how much you analyze, you can still mess up the tones. Strong. Strong. And that's what Strong. I like about this, is it's straight practice, 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 practice. I think there is an area here, yeah there is, in the guide, where it shows you, like in specifics you can read about the tones, but honestly, that is useful to an extent, but what you really, really have to do, what I really have to do, is just practice until it becomes uh, instinctual uh, or just, uh, for me, more knee-jerky than anything else when you stop thinking about it. When I stop thinking about it and it just comes out or I can just hear it, that's when I feel, when I will feel like I've gotten a handle on it. Until then, I will be using this app. <laughs> Oh, that one's hard. Okay, we're going to do this one, and then I'll go into review and show you that part. I think shu is that one. What do you think? It's definitely not a high tone, so it's probably not rising. Maybe it's that. Oh my god. That was so wrong. <laughs> All right, let's review. Ah, huh, so you can email your results to yourself. Let's do that, and I'll show you what that looks like, because I haven't done that yet. So that's not an issue. And let's see, what can you do with this? Oh. So that's nice. So you can still see the tones and see that you got it wrong. And it's clearly marked, so red is obviously the one that, that you picked that was wrong. Like S-U-N was clearly wrong. Okay, that is useful. My other critique of this is I partially wish that they had the Hansi and the Pinyin, so they'd have the character and the Pinyin. I think that would be really nice, but, however, you do have, um, you do have words that have the same Pinyin that have different characters, so I can see why they didn't do that. You also, in the reverse, have the same character with different Pinyin. I can't even begin to wrap my head around those two statements, but that is what I know, intellectually. I've heard this, it's a piece of information that's in my head, and it makes it really intimidating to continue <laughs> learning the language, to be quite honest with you. So I can see why they didn't just put one character next to the opinion in this, but I would really, even if it wasn't the one, like it's not a one-to-one -one ratio with the character and the opinion, I would still like to, to be exposed to a character that goes with that opinion, because I'm big on visual input. So that is my one, my second critique of this app. However, in general, if I could give this app a 10 star, a 5 star, whatever the highest star is, I would because I find this incredibly useful. And again, I just did this for like 15, 20 minutes last night. I was just going to do 5 minutes, but I kind of got caught up in it and I felt like I was getting better at hearing it even if I saying the tones wasn't getting better. And that, to me, motivates me to do more and it 
It's helping me hear things out in the wild. Like I was at a restaurant yesterday and I ordered noodles from just pointing to it on the wall and he said the word guang, which I'm probably doing the wrong tone with, but it means wide and he wanted to check to make sure I wanted the wide noodles and I did, so I just instantly said dway and he walked away and he made my noodles. But I was like, I heard guang in the wild. I've never heard that in the wild. I've seen the character. I've been practicing the character in my Anki deck with the sounds in it, but I've never heard it before. But because it was a familiar sound, I could then hear it, understand it, and communicate. And I'm like, what? Didn't expect that to happen in a noodle shop. Didn't think I knew a lot of noodle words, but I do know the word wide. There you go. All right, so that is my review. Oh, I was going to take you into what they emailed me. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they literally just email you the list and they tell you what was right and wrong. Now, they don't import the audio and I am... So, I guess there's a limit to how well this Playco Trainer uh, email thing is. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think I'll be actually be using that myself because the main thing I need are those audio files. However, it is kind of nice if you are the person that wants to keep track of how you're doing and which ones you get right, which ones you get wrong, and you're a spreadsheet kind of person, you can definitely transfer this information over. I am not that person. Anyway, again, it's called Pinion Trainer, and let me see if we can get more information on this. Train Chinese is the company that makes this. I was also using their... Chinese Writer app for a number of months. I'm only doing it about once a week now, but I was doing a lot of videos on that of during the first month or two that I was making videos about learning the language. And I'll see if I can pull one of those up here. One of the first videos I made actually was about that because I really liked r tracing the language. And where is that app? There it is. Okay, about halfway to, here, let me put it at the top of the screen. Chinese character tracing the Zorro stroke. So you can watch that video if you'd like to see something about that app that they make. And it's a complete coincidence that it's, it's the same company and it just kind of goes to show you how some companies are producing really, really amazing content for an incredibly low cost. So um, I just went in looking for pronunciation trainers and that is one that really, really resonated with me and it just happened to be by the same company. So I'm super happy with this app and I'm gonna use it some more in the future. I hope you find this useful and if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you very much.